are, I'm clean before I get on my subject that I'm just going to talk about. Because you see, right now we're going back to these cop videos and leaving vacation. Um, you know, I'm going to try to do more road trips because it seems like they've been the best thing for me. Ooh, look at that. They got, they got a canopy set up with a tent. I don't know what, but yeah, this is part of Chattanooga we're coming into. That <coughs> I normally don't come take this place. This is not really the part. This is not the way I take into the bus station, but since I'm coming off of 75, this is a different, a different route. And I tell you, it seemed like it took forever today to get here from Atlanta, too. This is a longer way. Because you go 24, you're there in a minute. I'm never taking this way back. I want to... I'll be glad to get off here and get a cigarette because I need I need a cigarette in the worst damn way right now. I guess I get to see you in the RV park. Oh, what's this? See, I'm seeing things I didn't see last time, so there is a good thing about this. What is that place? Something art? Like it might have been. There's a firework place. Oh, maybe if I just want to live in another laid-back small town, you know what I'm saying? I sure like, I do, I would like to live here in Chattanooga. So this is a nice area. There's a Motel 6 if I ever decide to come here for the weekend, you know. I might come here for a weekend. I don't know if it's summer. I don't know. I got stuff going on. I should get the money, too. Because I really got to go to New Orleans this year. I got to get my money to go. And I tell you, BG getting ready to get out. I just heard some news, and right now, um, I heard, I have heard from some people that he filed another appeal, and he's waiting to hear back to accept it. I need you all to pray for BG, please. Please pray for rapper BG. Pray that this appeal goes through, and pray they get him out this summer. Look at this Bass Pro Shop they got here. Yeah, you don't see one like that too many places. But well, it's a good place to make one like it, you know. I tell you, this traffic has been bad everywhere all weekend. It seemed like all weekend. You know, because Orlando, the traffic was bad. This is, what's going on in the country today? I guess there's a lot of people. Look at this, Christian Tour. Now, what's this place? Is that a rest area? Place. It might be a Tennessee Welcome Center because I know the Georgias. I just seen. I thought we'd been in Tennessee until I see. But then I seen going the other way. I seen the, uh, the Welcome Center for Georgia, and I said, "You mean we just leaving Georgia right now?" I said, "Man, it took, took like forever and a day to get through there. It don't ever take us this long." Bus don't go fast. I'm telling you. Bus is older. It gets the older bus than we know what we normally ride because you tell way the seats are kind of worn out. Well, we do have we do have outlets, so not all. Of them. And these seats are just so dang small. These seats are small, and you know, and the way they got this seat here, look how I'm deep up in here. This, here's my seat. I don't really have much space between me and the person in front of me. Now, see, now if you go over and look at the other seats, there's more room. You know, they try to expect us to leave the other seat for another person in case they need to sit there. But, you know, I'm sorry, but over here where I'm sitting, there ain't hardly enough room for one person. You can put a couple, you know. <laughs> you really, really, wanna, really want everybody to want to fill up the seats and everybody be comfortable riding this bus, you know. 
I think these little tight seats like this ought to be for kids to sit in. They put a couple kids in here. That's what's going to fit. It's even hard for one adult to fit this thing. I feel like I'm in a little, little, I don't know what. I feel like I'm in a little. I feel like I'm hurting in here like a bunch of cattle. But I'm telling that's what it's like flying on an airplane. This is what the seats are like all the way across the plane. They ain't paying for airplane. That's why I don't want to go on an airplane. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I, I'm a first class seat, too. There's more room in the seats, but once you get in regular class, I'm telling you, you ain't got very really much room. But yeah, this is what I guess Chattanooga looks like. But we was just getting off on, uh, we got off on exit earlier. Now, where we at now? You know, I mean, we're coming here to Chattanooga, and I have no idea where we at. You know, we stop, I know we stopped the same station. You know, the guy, I mean, going that station, well, you had to get off 24. Ooh, they got a bargain hunt store. You know, if I, I guess if I ever, if I ever want to just go live in a little laid back town in the mountains, I, you know, Chattanooga would be a good place to live, I think. I'd really like to make it. You know, they got bus service. It's not as, probably, maybe it's, it's got a lot, it's got some stuff to do, but, <laughs> I know winter time would get. I'd say, well, I know winter time would get kind of boring around here. I don't know what the malls are like here. You know, stuff they got to do that's you know for people. You know, the winter time when it gets cold. You know, what kind of stuff they would have to do here. Yeah, I have to bring that in consideration because it's like that period after Christmas to like April. It's like. It's almost like it's. Uh, it, I try to make it a hibernation mode because I am always sleepy and you know dragging in that in that kind of year and you know I tend to get depressed a lot. But I don't know. I kind of may need to, to get away from. Can I have your attention, please? This is Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Those passengers getting out here, I'd appreciate it. If you will have your luggage claim checks ready. If you have luggage underneath this coach, have your claim checks ready and handy so you can claim your bags. All other passages, we will take a real quick break. You are welcome to step off the coach, smoke a cigarette, or grab you something real quick to snack on. We won't be here a long time. Please start moving when we roll up. If you want to grab something quick to snack on, they do sell snacks behind the ticket counter. Oh, yeah. They also have vending machines, but the snacks behind the ticket counter are a little bit cheaper. Yes. I still got my soda from Atlanta, so, I mean, I do got some stuff to drink here. I don't really need nothing right now, but I do. I am going to get myself together because I need a cigarette. In fact, if they let me smoke two of them, I want to. Let me smoke two babies, huh? Uh, looks like we see. Yeah, we in the same. Yeah, we coming in a different spot than we did before. Yep. I know we did come in here because then there, there it is the Metro Tab Church. We did come in this way the last time. I was up here about a week and a few days ago. I, I do like riding a bus, so it's fun. I just, the only thing, now, bad thing about mega buses is their seats are not as comfortable. You know, something about the seat, you know, basically, Coca Cola place. Basically, what I'm going to have to do if I go mega bus is I'm going to have to bring a seat cushion with me because the seat's so hard to sit in. Yeah. I'm going to have to basically bring some cushioning for my seat, maybe something for my back, something like that. So. But y'all, um, this video is coming to a close. I'm just wanted to show you what the other parts of Chattanooga look like. And plus, if I ever want to go back and watch places, what it looked like, I have these videos to refer back to. You know, this is good. I am thinking about yeah. I think it's it is time to move from Louisville.
I got cities in mind in Florida, city in mind in Atlanta. Three but... smokers are smoking area the left side of the bus, the so opposite really side of the bus in the door. There's some there. churros over there, they put some churros over there for your convenience. So we'll be right later.